What's going on guys, Big Up Hacks here coming at you with episode number 5 of Ask Hacks. Let's get started right now. Anthony Ristifu asks, would you give up off the gaming for $3 billion or would you keep things the way they are and just keep on chucking? Or something along those lines. I would take the $3 billion for sure. Can you imagine? Uh, but yeah, I mean if things stay the same, I'll still be happy because I, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed, lucky, and I love my effing job. Uh, I, I will continue to do what I'm doing. I'm very passionate about it. So, and even if I did get $3 billion, I would, I would still be involved somehow, some way. A, a little bit less involved. I would take more vacations. I would take vacations, not more vacations. I would take vacations uh, for sure. And I would probably hold like LAN events and, and invitationals like in, in the middle of the sea somewhere, or in the Bahamas, in huts, sun beating, getting sunburned, all that. Face Fitness and Optic Fit Collab says Phase Jasper. Absolutely talk to Mike, unless you guys are both trying to team up and trying to turn this already amazing body into a more amazing body. Holler at Mike. Cindy Cindy asks, houses on fire, family, friends, pets are all safe. What three things do you take? Easy. And, well, it's not that easy, all right? So I put myself in a position of like, I gotta do this right away, right? I'm coming downstairs, I take everybody outside, everybody's safe, I gotta run back in there and grab three things. I'm immediately gonna run into my office. First thing that I think of that I need to grab is my computer, so I'll grab it and rip it all out. It's heavy because it's the old MacBook Pro computers, so it's like the big tower one, so they're really heavy, so I'll grab that, I'll run outside, take it outside, come back inside. And originally, I was gonna say that the one million subscriber button or the other ones, but then I figured, I'm like, I have friends, in at Google that I would be like hey listen put a word in please that says hey I had an accident my ship burnt I, they mean a lot to me why don't you send me three new ones they'll send me four new ones right because there's four of them uh, I will grab the trophy from MLG and definitely 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 somewhere hidden in this office there is the optic archives where there's like footage that nobody has ever seen before like the one time that yeah the camera was scared. Yeah, so the game starts at 7, so if we get there at 6, we can chill out for an hour. Yeah, I'll say 6 is team. Yeah. Yeah, you can get pizza at a couple of hours. What? It's like everything. Burgers, whatever you want. They guarantee it. Macaroni and cheese for your baby ass palate? Whatever you need. <laughs> They'll fucking feed you like yogurt if you want. They'll put a bib around you and fucking give it to you. And yeah, those are the three things I would grab. Computer, archives, trophies. Hitch a Ride asks, what is the best concert you have ever been to? Easy, Wu-Tang Forever Tour, 1997, House of Blue, Chicago. Got there early, got all the way to the front. Made myself, pushed my way to the front, elbowed. Get out of the way, I'm about to be up in here. And it was the best. All the way to the front, I'm sitting up there, I'm sweating, I'm singing along. Uh, they were doing throwbacks, nobody in the crowd was singing. I was shouted out and they'd be like, yo, respect, blah, blah. Best thing that happened though is that I was sweating. The RZA, he reaches down and hands me a Wu-Tang forever towel. What are those little, you know, dry out towels? You know, I washed it and then I, I hung it up. I don't even know where it is. I'm actually kind of mad that I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna look for it, I'm gonna find it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture of it, hopefully. But I gotta find it. I may have left it at my parents' house when I used to live there, because it was in 1997, so I don't know. I have to go back. But then after that, I was still sweating. Raekwon gives me a bottle of water. Like, the interaction between me and Wu-Tang was insane. For me, they're still the best, like, group, a, a ensemble of rappers that has ever existed in my opinion. Uh, you know, even individually, they all had like bangers, you know, like uh, like real rap, okay? And I'm not making fun of you little kids now, but if you guys don't know your history, then you don't know history, that's nothing I can do. It's not your fault. You know, you just grew up at a later time. It's like all of you who think that LeBron is better than Michael Jordan. He isn't, sorry. Unique Cliche asks, why are there no women competitions at events uh, or at tournaments? Uh, simple answer, equality. I think that women can compete uh, in, in the current tournaments. I don't think that there's a necessity to have an all women's league unless of course they want it. Uh, we as men are welcoming them with open arms to compete against us, okay? They have an open door for you to create a team of four girls and compete. But if as a woman or as women, you guys decide that, hey, maybe we should have a women's league 
instead of you know competing against the guys. That's also cool. Uh, whatever you guys want to do. Pray Zero asks, are you gonna host an Optic LAN for Black Ops 3 pre-release like you did in previous Call of Duties or something along those lines? Yes. More details to follow. I can't say too much about it, obviously, because of business stuff. Boring stuff. Shit that you don't want to know about. Rhino Roman asks, who has the best shoe game at the Optic House? Well, let's take a look. The sum of your kicks right here, right? The bread there in the whip. I got the bread 11s in the whip. I got the fours somewhere around here. The fire at fours. I have phones at my house. Show me the bust them out. <laughs> These are Nick's shoes. These are Mike's shoes, not including the ones that he took with him. Uh, but so far, I think uh, Mike's winning. He's got more variety. These are Crim's. What are those? Crim, who's got the best? Who, who's got the best shoe game in the house? And well, me included. Probably you. Psh, fucking right. Oh, here's more Crim's. What are the Flame Swordo? <laughs> That's such a cool name. Flames Wordo, Rodrigo or Rodrigo Ortega asks, when will we see another challenge from you and the guys at the Optic House? Like a Hex versus the Optic House? You mean like this one? I just bought these pumpkins for every single one of us. We are about to do a carving pumpkin Hex versus the Optic House challenge. Very soon, hopefully by the end of this weekend, I have a lot of stuff to do that is boring and businessy. Aqualistic asks, when will you do the next mail time? Well, uh, I'm not sure. I think that uh, we only have like one box to open. It's sitting right there. There's a whole bunch of letters, but no, I'm not gonna sit there and read letters. This isn't, this isn't ask, oh it is ask, 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 anyway. So yeah, hopefully soon. This is, the second that we get enough content to open up and, and make a good video out of it, we will do that. So right now, I know that we do have a whole bunch of stuff to sign and send back, and Judith's been hounding me for that, so it's, my, it's our fault, not hers. Uh, we'll get that out as soon as possible. I'm sorry, we're busy. What do you want to do? Stop. The Vinny D asks, is Umu gonna run through the Challenger division in Black Ops 3? I say yes. Very confidently, I say yes. Let me ask my counterparts to see how they feel about it. Yo, yo, hey, is is uh, Old Man of Optic gonna run through that Challenger division? Challenger division in Black Ops 3? No, Challenger division in Call of Duty 4. Oh, you fucking sarcastic fuck. Yeah, we are. What the hell? Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, get an iPhone, loser. Yo, <laughs> yo, I didn't, I didn't think that you were gonna. Hey, Lester, yo, I didn't, I didn't think you were gonna pick up because you're so busy at work, you superstar. Yo, hey. Yo, I'm here though, and I did pick up. So what's up, fam? Hey, uh, are we gonna run through the Challenger division in Black Ops Three as Old Man of Optic? Oh, dude, I'm back with a vengeance, oh, I'm out of man. This hey, you're, I'm back, man. I cancel commentating so I can come back and be the best Call of Duty player in the world, dude. Umo needs a hero like me. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta figure out how we can drop Jay because we need an actual solid fourth. No, I agree. Well, the good thing is that he's playing Minecraft, so I don't think he's gonna be playing with us anyway. All right, so we'll make the trade. Nate, Nate, Nate shots in and Jay's out. That's an easy one. That is an easy one. All right, pal. I won't let you. I won't keep you anymore. I know you're busy conquering tell, the world. Tell, tell, tell me right now that you're on the monorail. Right? I'm not. Oh, I thought you were with the way No, it's <laughs> big timers. I left mine in there. No, I'm just I'm just recording a uh, ass hacks right now. All right, bro. Peace. Hey, good looking! Hey, Tom, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What are you doing? Uh, nothing, dude. I'm at work. Oh, I thought you were in Arizona. I was yesterday. Oh, hey, pal. I got a question for you. Everybody yeah. is wondering, will the old men of Optic take over the Challenger division during Black Ops 3? 100% will take over the Challenger division of Black Ops 3. Why is that in a question? I don't know. I assume that we're going to make that happen. So unless... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, pal. All right, 
man. That's all I needed. Wait, Thanks, wait, man. Wait, wait, let's, let's talk shop about Hutch before we leave. You got anything to say? About Hutch? I don't know. Yeah. No, I haven't called him yet. He's next. Oh, that skinny pencil guy who gives away his dogs and lets his cats. I can't go that far. <laughs> Alright, pal. I'll see you later. Good pal. Quickly, I have a question for you. Is the old middle Vopte going to take over the challenger division in Black Ops 3, or are you a pussy? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Will Laurie asks, if you could live inside of one video game, which one would it be? I would have to say Minecraft, absolutely, unequivocally, no doubt about it. Like the amount of stuff that you can do, it's forever and ever. Mountains to climb, pigs to hunt, Cows to breed, enchantments to enchant. The only thing that I think that Minecraft was lacking is the storyline went like, you wake up in this world, you see a note from your loved one that says either, you know, it could be your daughter, your son, your wife, your counterpart is missing, your brother, your father, your mother, and like anything, a loved one is missing and the dragon took him, right? And then you have to do all the things. Like, I think that that's the only thing that that as a game, it was lacking. There was, um, and, and it's an open world, so it allows you to do whatever you want without having to focus on anything. But if you would have had that goal, where like, because for like the first two years, I didn't know that you could beat the game. I just thought that you were surviving, and that's it. I didn't know that you had to collect certain things to, and then find a portal and then go somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't read, just left on and started playing. But I think that if they would have added a uh, a a loved one missing, I think it would have been so much better. Visual asks most famous person in your contacts list. So I went through there and I have the most famous person that I have in there. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have like, in gaming I would have to say like, I would have to go like top three because I don't know, I, you, you, how do you determine fame, right? It's, you know, uh, I have Syndicate, CNET, I mean I have pretty much like, uh, famous people, I guess. I don't know, it depends on famous because I have my one of my friends who's like who's who's been like featured in a whole bunch of graffiti magazines. is super you know big in the scene of graffiti. Like he's fucking famous, but what do you determine from the fame? Uh, from the entertainment business, from the sports business. Like I, I have I have basketball players on my on my list, football players on my like I don't know I don't know what to tell you I don't know I don't know what fame what's fame what is fame popularity I mean I don't know uh, it depends on it depends who's the most famous none of them. Okay, we're all equal and we just happen to have different jobs. One of them is more popular than others. So I guess that's my answer. Treat everyone equally. Unless you're being bothered. Like if you were Brad Pitt, I can only imagine how many, how much, like, how much bullshit you go through. Oh my God, can you imagine being a boy man? Fuck. In your opinion, who do you think has the best setup at the optic house? You be the judge. I personally think that Crim6 has the best setup, but I want to know what you think. Leave a comment in the description below on who it is that you think has the best gaming setup, and then we'll go from there. All right, so this is Will's setup. His chair, I would give it like a, it's really comfortable when it has both of the armrests, so I don't know. All right, so his setup is, uh, it's got three monitors. His microphone is right in front of him. He's got a Xbox One control. All his shit is on the floor. He's got a mess right there. This is this little. <laughs> this is his computer. All right. This is all right. This is the, all right. I, I gotta give him props for this. This is his uh, bookmark. Hundred dollars. Uh, that. So. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you. All right, so that's that's big timers. I did. All right. So this is Crim Six's setup. What? Nothing. Just do your thing. Are you resting? No. So Crim has two very. Good monitors. I think they're both BenQ. Look at his setup. Look, in comparison to big timer setup, like look, he's got the the Rode mic arm extendo. He's got the Audio 2020 with the popper. He's 2035. Ooh, 2035. He says. 2035. 2035. He says he's got not only one Astro Gaming headset on his head, but he's got a backup. He's got all of his electronics. I got three. Oh, the A50s. Wait, what's this? What is this? This sound thing. That's the mixer. He's got a mixer, guys, for his fucking microphone. Try hard. <laughs> All right, and he's got obviously his electronics off the floor. A, a, a desk, very good desk. Wire management, not that great. <laughs> he's got a good gaming chair, which is cool. Very comfortable. He's got, he's playing on the PS4 right now. He's got his controllers, got his, got his Red Bull. All right, right now he's streaming. 
Yeah. You see there, he's live. Yeah. Uh, his computer? Beast. This is what a computer looks like. This is Mike's setup. Mike's setup is pretty standard. It's got a good desk. He's got a printer. I don't know why. Actually, that water is definitely Nick's. Those boots are definitely Nick's. He's got two Destiny on use boxes. Uh, another, another scanner or something. Uh, wire management is actually kind of okay because it's not in the way, but it's all back here. Uh, Xbox, PS4. He's got his Asray 40s, his scuff, cool mouse pad, uh, some Razer mouse, Steel Series keyboard, uh, and that's Mike's setup. All right, so this is Nick's setup. He's got his Xbox off the ground. He's using. Uh, a picnic table which is fine that I, I find those to be very spacious and and good so if you can't afford a super expensive desk go get yourself one of these you can you can find a garage sale you can find on Craigslist you can find one of those picnic tables and dudes I'm telling you it's very very convenient for what you do all right in the back he's got a scuff 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 uh, for ps4 a light bulb he's got uh, he's he's at least trying with the lighting I don't know what the blue things for but uh, he's got a keyboard I don't know why He's got another scuff, he's got a Logitech mouse, my computer, and for those of you who wonder what Blancat is, Blancat is a graffiti writer who's a very, very good friend of mine, hashtag Blancat is, is his name on, on that, so I know that you guys are always like, you smoke marijuana, you inject marijuanas, uh, I don't know why he's got two chairs, but I'm sure that this is the one that he uses, uh, and that's Nick's setup. All right, so this is Embos' setup. He's got two monitors. He's got his computer back here. Wire management. Hey, it's not in the way. He's got his uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox. Uh, okay, making sure he's got his 360 down there. Wire management is not as bad as others. He's got a fan. Why are you dirty socks right there, man? I just got back from the gym. All right, so that's Embos' setup. Again, guys, do not hate on the, on the picnic tables. I'm telling you, those are the most underrated desks that any gamer can have. They're spacious, you can put a whole bunch of them, they're durable, and they are cheap. So don't snooze. Don't wait to buy a super expensive desk if you don't have to spend it on, on some hardware. But that is Embos' desk. That's gonna conclude this episode, though. I know it went on a little longer. I know that you guys like it when it when it drags on, but you know, I I I got work to do. Goddamn it! I have to go to the other house, carve some pumpkins, do some stuff, record some videos, edit some videos, answer some emails, take some phone calls, boring stuff. All right. Until next time, guys. Please remember to not leave without leaving a like. I'm out. Peace.